Hi everyone, welcome to Video Facilitator. Today, I wanna to show you how simple and easy it is to use Video Facilitator to run a multi-room workshop or conference. So hopefully, you'll know enough that you can get started with your first workshop. So let's have a look around. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to be able to copy the share link to this meeting. You can copy this link by clicking the button and adding it to a calendar invite and sending it to your participants. They'll be able to join this meeting through the URL directly or they can always log in through the login page as well. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to be able to do is edit the topic of this room. So you can click here, I've called it your first workshop. Uh, you can call it anything you want, but in today we're not gonna change this, so I'm just gonna cancel this. Now, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is that on the left-hand side over here uh, is where we coordinate and manage the rooms. This is really gonna be the space that actually helps your participants know what topics are on, what rooms there are, and how much time they've got remaining. So I'm gonna create a couple rooms just so that we can show you how it all works. So I create uh, two rooms, and you see that those two rooms have appeared. Um, they'll have appeared for every one of your participants as well, and they can move into those rooms when they choose right now. We're gonna start a quick timer of one minute, so that timer uh, appears at the top. Everyone else sees that timer. Now, that's quite a special timer in that when that time runs out, it actually creates a soft prompt for all your participants. And by a soft prompt, what I mean is that they'll be asked to join back to the main room, but they can always decline it. Now, that's because what we want to enable is if they've got an important conversation they're trying to wrap up, rather than breaking into their conversation and forcing them back, this enables them to wrap up and come back at an appropriate time. So we're gonna jump into room 13 here. Now room 13, we're able to actually do many of the same things. So we can change the topic at the top. And we're not gonna change that right now. Um, but we've also got the functionality to create a timer. So we can actually start a timer in this room as well. Now this isn't quite as special as the, the main timer, um, which is gonna create a soft prompt. This timer is just for keeping time. Just enables your participants to manage their time more appropriately. So in three seconds, a prompt's gonna appear. I'm gonna cancel that so that I can show you the rest of the functionality. Now, some of the other things you're gonna to wanna to be able to know is that your participants can ask for help at the room level. They can click this button. It puts a hand on the room. That enables a facilitator to know that someone needs help in that room, jump into this room, uh, resolve any questions or problems that the team has, and then actually click it again and remove the hand. Last thing that you can actually do at the room level is this last uh, this button here, which is force the lobby. Now, it gives everyone a 30 second timer to return back to the main room. That's because sometimes you just run out of time and you need people to come back, even though that we want people to have the ability to stick around and finish their conversations. Somebody click that, um, just confirm, and there you go, a prompt's appeared and we've got 30 seconds now to rejoin the main room. So that's most of the functionality, just a few other key things to note. When you join in into a, a room, you'll always be muted. That's uh, because we found that um, it's not very often that a meeting room is gonna have no one in it. So rather than joining in as, um, as voice on and disrupting the conversation, we've opted for a, a mute on entry approach. A few of the other things, you can share your screen, um, you can actually, Put the ha your hand up in the room to be able to prompt others in the room that you want to talk. There's chat functionality. Uh, last thing that you might want to know, there are a few nifty shortcuts, so you can actually use some keyboard functions as well to mute, unmute, share your, your screen, etc. That's about it. So hopefully that's enough to get you started. And um, if you want to learn more, go to www.videofacilitator.com. We've got a whole bunch more information up there and other videos on how to get you started. So hope to see you soon. Thanks.